we have already seen every bit of the new design language of Android 12 Material U. Now it's time to catch the big fish. A million dollar question is whether there's any improvement in battery and performance after the Android 12 update. In this video, our prime focus is on battery and performance comparison between Android 11 and 12. I'm currently running Beta 5 and the Android 12 official release is just knocking on the door. Sources say Google will start rolling out the most awaited Android version in the first week of October. In Google I.O., they talked about overhauling the whole UI and emphasized other aspects. The way they've showcased, it's more than visual redesign as many interactions have been simplified. It is more playful now without compromising on the system and battery performance. All motion and animation in the UI are super smooth and CPU time used by Android system server is reduced by a whopping 22%. All this new material you design with lots of other additional features added to Android 12 are raising several questions of what magic Google has done to keep the performance intact how all the new animations and smooth transitions are carried and how this heavy lifting is not affecting the battery performance. All these questions will be answered today. By the way, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to enjoy all the fun videos in future and press the bell icon to enable the notifications for latest video drops. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into action. So I wanted to execute this comparison experiment on the same phone. Therefore, I went back to Android 11. By the way, if you are planning to revert to Android 11 from Android 12 beta, it is very much possible. You can visit Google's beta program page and then opt out your device from beta. This will roll out the Android 11 update, which you'll find in your settings updates. Before doing this, you need to make sure you've backed up your stuff as reverting will completely erase your data from your device. So, I'm ready and back to Android 11 and I feel like I'm missing something. To be precise, I'm missing a lot of things. There are different ways of measuring performance, but the actual feeling of smoothness in transitions, system animations and app loading time hits you immediately after using an interface within first few minutes of usage. Same happened with me. After switching back from Android 12 to 11, I feel a lot has changed when you compare it with Android 12. The experience is very different as I'm missing smoothness, subtle and soft animations are no more present and there was intangible feeling of ease while using Android 12 is washed away completely. So the first impression is that definitely new version of Android means business. Google has transformed the user experience and this is the biggest update in years. The most obvious thing is that we can feel the difference in performance the moment we land on Android 12 home screen. Few swipes and navigating through different screens will catch your attention. Google has not reinvented the wheel here, but they have managed to provide strikingly better operating system version without compromising on performance. In fact, they have enhanced it in many ways. Normal usage like web browsing, social media applications and Google's in-house applications are like messaging, Gmail, photos, files are performing better than before. Google has attached everything so well that no matter which app you are in, any notification calls that comes to your phone does not feel like it's interrupting you. Everything blends in beautifully and this is a game changer as this is the first time Google has done something with their OS which will give iOS users a chance to experience a different but better OS which includes most of the good elements of iOS and adds more to it. What about the heavy tasks and apps that can squeeze all the power of CPU and GPU? Yes, I'm talking about camera and games. Camera UI is also changed and it is adapting to the Material U design language. It's not just about the UI, but what I've personally experienced, overall camera features are performing well and better when compared to Android 11. Navigating through different options in camera, switching back and forth to front and rear camera, or the camera focus and processing after every click has improved. And Google is easily doing all the heavy lifting with the improved Android engine. I have noticed a major difference, but I'll come to that in a bit. 
coming to the games for hours i have played asphalt 9 and i have not experienced any frame drops even once and this was not the case with android 11 as we know that pixel 4 is not designed for heavy gaming but it can take casual gaming easily after android 12. game dashboard is added to android 12 and it improves your gaming experience and even after addition of this feature i don't see any lag during gameplay in android 12. in android 11 there were few frame drops and no dashboard remember I was talking about a major difference in Android 11 and Android 12's performance. Yes, in Android 11, after using the apps and 30 minutes of gameplay, my phone experienced rise in temperature. And after continuous usage for another hour, it was hot. I was able to hold it, but it was not in condition to take calls directly from the phone. But after Android 12, I feel that from normal to heavy usage, phone is maintaining a decent temperature. And this indicates that Google has reduced and optimized the CPU utilization in a best possible way. And high five on performance to Google. When it comes to battery, Pixel phones have different battery sizes, but optimization from Google plays an important role. Like Pixel 4a has a smaller battery size, but that doesn't speak for the phone's battery performance. The battery lasts easily for a day with five to six hours of screen time. Pixel phones also have some small but significant features to save your battery and maintain your battery life. We have adaptive charging and adaptive battery in settings where your adaptive battery helps extend battery life based on your phone's usage and adaptive charging enables your phone to charge up to 80% and uses alarm to completely charge by wake up. It doesn't end here. You also have battery saver and extreme battery saver. You have extreme battery saver option for critical moments when your phone is about to die but you want to keep it alive for time it takes to reach the closest charging destination. It can pause most of the apps to save the remaining battery and you can resume them in case you need them. This is already in place but still the question comes whether we are getting additional hour or some additional battery performance after updating to Android 12. From last week I was on a mission and was experimenting and observing the battery performance. I ran different apps based on casual to heavy usage. In Android 11 and 12, with YouTube playback of 39 minutes, then map usage for 16 minutes straight, video recording of 10 minutes, and then gameplay for 11 minutes. Both were down at same 78%. And in the end, Android 12 was left with 5% battery when battery died in Android 11. These tests were performed on Pixel 4a with brightness of 53%, and the volume was maximum during the YouTube playback. It looks like that there is not much improvement, but we need to consider the fact that we are in beta phase of Android 12 and Android 11 is the stable version. We will conclude this in a bit after looking at real world usage of phone for battery performance in real time. I want to share the observations from my day trip which started at early 4am and I started from home with 100% battery. Adaptive brightness was enabled and due to the daylight in most of the cases, phone was on maximum brightness. So phone was alive for 16 hours with almost five and a half hours of screen time. So to conclude this performance, there is an improvement and all claims from Google IO event are true. When it comes to battery, I would say yes, there is some improvement and with final and stable release, this will change. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the final stable version of Android 12 and you should be using your fingers to smash the like button and please subscribe to get more exciting updates in future. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.